and we are live Monday Travelers Championship. Usually the weeks after after major championships are a bit like bleak and you missed the last week, but this week feels different. Not that LACC was boring or bad. I'm standing up for LACC. I thought it was a good test. I thought it was fun. I mean, 10 under wins a golf tournament. How could you complain? People are complaining about the fairways. And you, you prefer St. Andrews over that? I get the history, but come on. Like, 10 under wins a golf tournament. That's a good golf. Rory McIlroy, Scotty Scheffler, Wyndham Clark, Xander Shoffley, Ricky Fowler on the leaderboard. How like Why are we complaining? You guys love to complain about every little damn thing. But it was fun. Congrats to Wyndham. I know a bunch of people had Wyndham tickets. Congrats to you guys. But we have the Travelers Championship this week. And outside of the majors, honestly, I put this ahead of some majors. This is one of my favorite golf tournaments. This is my favorite golf tournament of the year. The atmosphere, the fans, the People's Championship, where I met Brian Kirshner. Like, how, how could the Travelers Championship not be a staple week on your calendar? So we have $5,000 to spend. You guys know the deal. And I'm going to tell you how to spend it. You're going to throw $2,000 on what's, – what's a show without me talking about Patrick Cantlay? $2,000 on Patrick Cantlay to finish in the top 10 at plus 130. His last 50 rounds, only a guy by the name of Scotty Scheffler is hitting the ball better than him. He's an absolute stripe show. Um, Tita Green, but we did not see that last week. We saw a very fluky ball striking performance from Patrick Cantlay, but he was second in putting last week. The putter has been the issue the all season. It cost him a few wins. He finally put, and then he couldn't hit the ball. This is a place where Patrick Cantlay has five consecutive top 15 finishes, should suit his eye well, knows he can contend here, was in the final group here last year. I think it's very safe to, for him to finish inside the top 10. I think he can win this golf tournament as well. So, $2,000 on Patrick Cantlay to finish inside the top 10 at plus 130. All right. Second bet, Tommy Fleetwood, top 20, plus 130, $1,000. Very safe play here. Tommy Fleetwood has five top 20s in his last six starts, and he's coming off one of his best ball striking performances of the season. He gained over 12 strokes ball striking at LACC. A lot of it was in that Sunday round, but it was a very impressive showing from Fleet. Um, his best iron range is 125 to 175, where a lot of approach shots will come at TPC River Highlands. And in his two starts here, he's gained over nine strokes on these putting surfaces. Obviously, these are a, a bit of a bent POA mix. We don't see it too much on tour. So Tommy Fleetwood's comfortable on these surfaces. I think he's a safe play to finish inside the top 20. All right. Third bet, Victor Hovland, top five, plus 450, $1,000 on that. He's got two top fives in his last four starts, and they're Pretty elite fields, PGA Championship, and the Memorial. Obviously, he won. Number four in total driving on the entire PGA Tour. I think he's get, he can absolutely blitz this place with the driver, have a ton of wedges in, just knock everything super close. He's top three in this field, 125 to 175. Obviously, a key approach range. His best surface is bent grass. I know it's not the same surface, but it is a bent mix. Can't hurt to throw that in there. All right. Fourth bet, Siwoo Kim to win the golf tournament at 40 to 1. I think it's a good number. We're going to throw $500 at that. He's got two wins on Pete Dye tracks, PJ West and TPC Sawgrass. Um, has gained in ball striking stats every start since the middle of April. That's very impressive. It's very easy to have a fluky finish in there, just like a bad iron week, a bad driver week. He has gained strokes in both off the tee and approach in every start since the middle of April. And two top fives, his last five starts. So Siwoo Kim has shown to be a big dog and can perform even in these tough fields. So I think Siwoo Kim, 40 to 1, good number. All right, final bet, $500 on this. Will Gordon, top 10, 17 to 1. Just like Victor Hovland, he can really blitz this place with a driver. Although he doesn't have the same iron numbers or even driver numbers as Victor Hovland, the driver is his best weapon, and he showed that in 2020 when he finished T3 in the best field the Travelers has ever seen back in 2020, coming out of the COVID break. A guy by the name of Will Gordon, no one knew who he was coming out of Vanderbilt, showed up to this place the year that Dustin Johnson won, stood to the 72nd hole, and finished third. So he's also coming off of his best ball striking uh, start of the season, 12, plus 12.63 strokes at the RBC Canadian Open. So game is coming in in nice form. He's seen this place before. He's finished third. I think at 17-1 to 1 to finish inside the top 10, I think Willie G is a good play. So let me run through those five bets, and then we'll get going. Patrick Cantley, top 10, plus 130. 
Tommy Fleetwood, top 20, plus 130. Victor Hovland, top five, plus 450. Siwoo Kim, 40 to one to win the golf tournament. And Will Gordon, top 10, 17 to one. That is all the content for tonight. We'll be back with the 6K video tomorrow. And then Wednesday, after Wednesday night, we'll have the narratives. Uh, you guys know where to find me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.